Hi everybody, Jeff here from Outseta. This video is gonna demonstrate how you can integrate Outseta with your web app or website. And specifically, we're going to be integrating our sign up, login, and profile embeds. These embeds allow you to sign up new users, allow them to choose from your subscription or membership options and actually pay you for that subscription. They then allow the user to log into your product or site. And our profile embed allows users to manage their subscription going forward. Before we start the actual implementation process, there's a little bit of pre-work that you need to do within your Outseta account. So the first step is just coming over to this billing tab. You're gonna click on settings and you're going to connect Outseta to your Stripe account. So here you see we've input um, some test keys from Stripe into this Outseta account. Once that's done, Outseta will use Stripe as the payment gateway that processes the payments, but you'll manage all aspects of your pricing plans uh, and, and billing from within your Outseta account. Once connected to Stripe, you need to add at least one plan. So if you come to billing and plans, you can see I've got a few plans already set up in this account, but to add a plan, just click add a plan, give your plan a name, maybe it's your pro plan, for example. You can then set a trial period if you'd like to, set monthly rates, annual rates, set up fees, all those sorts of things. But whenever you've customized your plan to your liking, just click add, uh, and that plan will be added in your Outseta account. That's all that's required to get started, so now we can start the integration process. Integration process is gonna start here on the Auth tab, and click first on Sign Up and Login. So this is a pattern that you'll see repeated throughout Outseta. We have a page like this where we're gonna ask you a series of questions, ask you to set some configuration options, and then we're gonna generate embed codes that will bring this functionality to life on your site. So let's walk through each of these settings to start. The first is, do you want to use what we call team mode or individual mode? Team mode is what you should use if you sell to companies where you need multiple people to be able to share a subscription or membership. Everybody will have their own login, but if you have teams that have multiple people with one person paying for that subscription or membership, choose team mode. Individual mode means there's gonna be a one-to-one -one relationship between a person or a member and a subscription or a membership. So everybody has their own subscription. Next, if you have any sort of site that people need to log into, leave this toggle for send sign up confirmation email checked. What that does is when someone signs up, we send them an email that does two things. First, it validates that the email address they signed up with can receive email. And second, it's going to prompt them to set a password so they can log into your site going forward. The post login URL here is particularly important. This is the page that you want to send your users to as soon as they log into your product. Finally, we have our sign up settings here. The sign up form fields are just the fields of information that you want to capture from new users or members at sign up. So, right now we're requesting email, person name, and organization, but you can add whatever fields that you like here. Finally, the post sign up URL is a URL that will redirect users to just the first time that they subscribe. So in this case, we have it set to a thank you page that just thanks the users for creating their account and sets the expectation that they should be looking for a confirmation email. Once you've completed those settings, you can jump over to the embeds tab. Far and away, the easiest way to implement Outseta is just to grab this head script that you see here that we call our quick start embed script and add it to the header of all your website pages. So you can just copy this script. And I'm gonna demonstrate this on a Webflow website, but this process is the same no matter the website builder you're using or even if you're working with a web app as well. So here I am in Webflow, and I'm just gonna copy that script, the quick start header script, right into the head code for the entire site. Once that's done, I can click Save Changes, and that's the first step of this process. Next, we're gonna go back to that site. <clears throat> and somewhere on that site, you're going to want to add a sign up, a login, and a profile button or link. So where do you want users to go to initiate the sign up process? What sort of link do you want them to click to open up the login process? That kind of thing. So in just a minute, you'll see what that looks like on our Webflow demo site here. 
While that's loading, I can go back into Outset It to the Auth and Embeds page. And you'll see that once we've added that header script, we provide pop-up links. In this integration path, we will open all of these embeds as pop-ups. So now that the site has loaded, you can see I have a sign-up button, I have a login button, I have a profile link, and I have a logout link as well. So let's first start by just selecting this sign-up button. Perfect. Once I've selected that button, I can go into Outseta, and we want the sign up button to open the sign up embed as a pop up. So I'm just going to copy this link, jump back into Webflow, and I can paste that right here. So now when that sign up button is clicked, it will automatically open up this link as a pop up. You're going to repeat that exact same process for your login button, your profile button, as well as your logout button. And we provide those links right here. Once you've done that for all three buttons, you need to publish the changes on your site. And as soon as those changes are published, that's it. You've integrated Outseta in full with your website. So let's see what that actually looks like now that those changes have been published. Here we are uh, on our Webflow demo site. And if I come here and I click this sign up button, for example, or it was this one that we hooked up, uh, now you can see our sign up widget opening as a pop up. The user can select the plan that they'd like to sign up for, input the information we've requested from them, and then go ahead and check out. Likewise, users can come here and log in. So if I come and log in now, I get logged into the site. I have protected content set up uh, on this particular site, so I immediately gain access to some protected content. And you can see I can also come here and my profile link is now displaying. So I can invite team members uh, to my subscription, I can update my credit card information, or most importantly, I can change my plan at any point. Whenever I'm done working with the site, I can also go ahead and log out. So that's the fastest implementation process by far. Uh, but if you don't want to use the widgets as pop-ups, you can also choose to embed them directly on a page. In that case, you just want to come back to this auth tab, click on embeds, and you can work directly with our sign up login or profile widgets. So if I collect, if I select sign up here, we give you this configuration tool and then a live preview of exactly what you'll be integrating with your website. So the key if you want to embed these widgets directly on a page is rather than the as a pop-up option, choose on a page. Right now I'm displaying all of the plans that are contained in what we call a plan family. But if you wanted to just start everybody off on one plan, we'll call it the starter plan. And let's say we wanted everybody to start on a monthly subscription as well. As you make those sorts of changes, because you've pre-selected a plan and a payment term, Outside, I will skip you ahead a few steps in the process, and this is exactly what you would be integrating with your site. Once you like what you see, just click Install Your Embed, and we'll generate the code that you can drop into your page to bring this sign-up experience to life. That's the process of integrating our sign-up login and profile widgets. If you need any help with this at all, please email us at support at Thanks so much.